Hi, I'm Todd Heike of the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with this week's two minute fishing report. Well folks, definitely a very busy 4th of July holiday weekend and I hope uh, all of you enjoyed your weekend, your holiday and it was all safe and sound and I greatly appreciate all the business this past weekend and uh, the good thing was Mother Nature also cooperated around the area. I can't remember a 4th of July like we've had this past weekend. As far as the fishing uh, is concerned, a lot of guys had some success all across eastern South Dakota. Some of the lakes in the northeastern part of the state that have been producing some really nice walleyes include uh, Bitter, and uh, really the size has started picking up a little bit there. Also Wah Bay, Hazleton, uh, Pius, uh, even Royal Lake and Buffalo have been producing some nice walleyes. Uh, Big Stone, Dry Lake by Clark, uh, Indian Springs, Goose, Lynn, Reeds, all have been producing nice walleyes. Uh, also, the Missouri River has been doing really well. Molebridge, uh, also Chamberlain, Pigstown. Guys are coming away with some really nice uh, limits of walleyes there. And what have they been using up at uh, the Missouri River as well as the northeastern part of the state? A lot of spinners and a lot of plugs. And we'll come back to the northeastern part of the state here in a little bit. And the far southeastern part of the state, some of the lakes that have been producing uh, walleyes this past weekend include uh, Lake Henry uh, by Thompson. Also, 81 Ponds doing really well. Uh, Sonia. It really depends on the day. Some guys are coming away with some really nice walleyes, others are not. Uh, Ponset, a lot of nice quality walleyes. Quantity isn't there, but quality definitely is. Also Dry Lake by Willow Lake is doing really well. Uh, George WPA from Shore towards the evening has been doing well. Uh, also Twin Lakes, uh, the Trophy Lake by uh, north of, uh, uh, of Hartford, just uh, around the Montrose area, been doing really well there. Also, uh, Oakwood, Vermilion, Thompson, all been producing walleyes, and Thompson's bite seems to be recovering a little bit, but it's been pretty green up there, to say the least. Now, what have guys been using? There's a lot of weed lines around the area, a lot of these lakes, up the northeastern part of the state, as well as the southeastern part of the state. Uh, the Really, the trick is fish the weed lines. A lot of guys are you pulling spinners along the weed lines, or uh, throwing swim baits. Uh, also, guys are using, uh, you know, casting crankbaits up towards uh, the weed lines, and even with in the weeds and then also using slip bobbers uh, with leeches. So all those trips, tricks and trades of the uh, really have worked well this past week. Well if you're looking for panfish, uh, some guys have come away with some decent sized crappies uh, around the area. Some of those lakes include uh, Thompson, uh, Reeds, also uh, Pickerel and Buffalo have been producing some nice uh, crappies. A few crappies are being caught at Scott Slough as well as uh, Lake Elvin, but then they've been on the small side. If you're looking for bluegill, Lake Elvin has been doing really well. Pahoya down in northwest Iowa, and then also Enemy Swim up in the northeastern part of the state. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And speaking of that, June's winner happens to be Matt Bell. Matt, congratulations. Stop on up here and pick up your gift certificate. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of guys are throwing swim baits, and we have plenty of uh, swim baits up here, a great selection of them. Some of the ones that a lot of guys have been using have been the Ripple Shads by Berkeley, and then also the Walleye Assassins. Both of them have worked fantastic, uh, especially along the weed line. So again, if you're not familiar with how to use swim baits, stop on up here at the store, and we'll definitely show you how to do it. Also, this next week, we're de definitely going to have a lot of sales going on. What we're having this week is we're going to have a sale on trolling combos. If you're looking for line counter combos, stop on up here and take a look at a great selection here at the store. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 605-336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the 2-Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp. And as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time. And again, thanks for watching.